In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to wrap your header or your turbo manifold. Let's go. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. Let's address some of our under the hood temperature, shall we? And wrap this turbo manifold that is kind of a ram horn style turbo manifold. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to wrap. However, I'll, I'll walk you guys through it. Let's go. Two or three fingers. <laughs> All right, so obviously we've got our turbo manifold. This is just the bottom of a one gallon carton to soak this in. Hopefully it's big enough. Mm, get in there, oh, perfect. And then we have our, our tie off, pair of scissors, and I have a handful of hose clamps laying around. If you can use hose clamps instead of these stainless zip ties, so to speak, go with the hose clamps. So with this thing being as complicated as it is, and I need to make sure I don't get too close up here, otherwise we're not gonna be able to put our fasteners on it. So I'm gonna start about an inch out and wrap as much as I can. Once we get down here to this portion, right about here, we're not gonna be able to wrap it anymore, or at least each runner by themselves because we're just going to, we just don't have space. So we'll start off, we'll wrap them as far as we can, which I imagine with this runner, it'll come down to about right here. This one, right about here. Same difference here, right where these welds are at. We'll probably have to do a section, this as a section, just kind of wrap around here, wrap around here as well. It's going to be interesting. So let's do it. So water, what are we using this for? This is really just to kind of keep some of these airborne fibers from going into your lungs, really. So we're just kind of wetting this down to just kind of keep some of those fibers. Because this is, they call it titanium. I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check it out. It's pretty inexpensive. But however, uh, in my opinion, it's fiberglass, but it's flame resistant. All right, let's start out with the easiest runner, which is gonna be this guy here. Oh, thanks for the staples, bud. We're gonna kinda guesstimate, and what we wanna do is overlap this, so we need to kinda figure out how many times we need to loop this thing, and we'll trim it off. Man, that's sliding through there a lot easier than I thought it would. And we might be able to wrap these runners individually. So what I'm doing is just kind of folding this thing over to get a little bit of an idea of how I can go about wrapping this up. And we can always give ourselves a little bit extra length. All right, so I'm gonna say about right here. So we'll just trim it, this stuff cuts really easy. All right, let's tackle the first runner. I'm gonna take this piece that I just cut. We'll just fold this corner over. Let's see if we can't make that a little neater. It's like cutting hair. So I'm just gonna fold it kind of in a triangle, flip that thing down, give ourselves plenty of room to be able to put our hardware on. We'll pull this on through. All right, now we can secure this portion down. One of these zip tie madoodles. We got about 10 of them. And we'll take our pliers. What we're gonna do is just Twist this thing up. Pull as tight as we can get. All right, we've got that zipped up and we're just gonna overlap it by 50%. Pulling tight, we'll come back and we'll trim this here in a moment. at that almost absolute perfection kind of fold it over diagonally 
We'll fold it like that. Make sure there's no glove in there. <laughs> and we'll try and pull this as tight as we can. All right, no slack, and we'll toss on another zip tie roni. Hi, can I help you? If you're gonna come in here and look at me silly. I make silly faces when you make, silly, make up silly words. A zip tie roni? You're hampering my creativity. I apologize. <laughs> And we'll take our, our pliers and we'll just pull this thing through. Perfect. Okay. Let's see if we can't trim this thing up. What do you think, Paula? All right, we got this trimmed up, kind of tizzy rolled over. slack out. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to trim this up a little bit because it did kind of come loose. We'll fold this thing over. Make sure it's as tight as we can get it. Take another zip tie and secure it down. Okay. Nice and secure. Now we just need to trim these off and we'll start working on the inner runners. I really don't think we're gonna get much further than, eh, we can probably get down to here with that one. Same difference with this, we'll probably stop there. So we'll get most of it and then we'll just kind of have to wrap them together. Okay, let's see what we got with this one here. So I think that's about as far as we're gonna get with that one. Get the old trim. Okay. Now for the fun part, we got to wrap, wrap around these, wrap around this section, and I think we'll just end it each of those sections here. So let's go ahead and we'll start doing that. Well, I think we're looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this section. Just kind of guessing this time around. Okay, I feel like that went pretty well. Now it's time to tie this thing down. Well, it is all finished. Check this out. I think it came out pretty well. This should help reduce some of those under the hood temperatures. In the next video, I'm going to install some hood vents just to kind of help evacuate some of the heat out from underneath the hood. We got a new turbo blanket and we'll get this thing back on the road. Thanks for tuning in. As always, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Until next time, peace out. We'll get you peace out.